So today I'm making some uh, spiced chickpea stew with uh, coconut and turmeric. And uh, first I'm gonna start with a quarter cup of olive oil. I'm gonna start out by uh, mincing four cloves of garlic. Take as much uh, of the husk and the root end or the stem off of these as you can. Stack them up and you can use pre-processed uh, garlic if you want. Dump it into your Instapot. And you dice up a large yellow onion. I think this blade needs sharpened. And then about a uh, two inch piece of ginger. Let's see if a spoon can take this off. You can use a carrot peeler, but that might take off a lot of the meat. Then you can slice it into strips. And dump your ginger into your pot. And I'm gonna set this to saute. And you can add in some salt. This is just Himalayan salt, a few pinches of it. Then some uh, fresh ground black pepper. When you start hearing your oil sizzle, then you know that it's hot enough and it'll start breaking down and caramelizing the, uh, the uh, onion and uh, ginger and stuff in there. And stir this around every couple minutes until your onions are uh, somewhat translucent and starting to turn brown, starting to uh, caramelize. But uh, get everything mixed in with the uh, olive oil. Once this starts to caramelize, man, you can really smell the garlic in here. When you're cutting this ginger, this fresh ginger root, it, it actually smells like a Sprite or 7-Up. That's because ginger is in 7-Up and Sprite, so it actually smells really good in here now. Add one and a half teaspoons of ground turmeric. Add uh, one teaspoon of crushed red pepper. So this does have a bit of a heat to it. So once these onions break down, turn off your heat and uh, continue to stir. We're gonna add two 15 ounce cans of garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas drained and rinsed. Dump the two cans of drained uh, and rinsed chickpeas in there. Stir this around and let the chickpeas cook a little bit. Just 
scrape all this caramelized stuff off the bottom. Should come off quite easily when you clean it up because it's uh, got a coating of oil on here. This is the good stuff there, that caramelized, uh, that's where all that flavor comes from. So I turned the Instapot back on to saute and medium temperature to help cook the chickpeas. Then add in about two cups of chicken stock. I'm gonna add in two 13 and a half uh, cans of coconut milk. Then you can add in a few more pinches of salt, about two pinches. And add in some more black pepper. Bring this uh, concoction to a simmer, uh, let it boil, and thicken. Get all the stuff off the bottom. I don't recommend getting a, a Instapot with a non-stick coating on it because if you scrape too hard with a, with a spoon, it may come off in your food. This is a stainless steel pot. Um, we had a generic Instapot before with that non-stick Teflon coating and it just failed miserably because everything stuck to the bottom and uh, you were not able to get any of it off. So we bought a new Instapot, a non-generic Instapot, and it came with this stainless steel, which I highly recommend. So this is one bunch of kale. I'm removing the stem, because stem doesn't really cook well. And these you want maybe about bite size. You don't want them so small. These are just for texture and flavor, I guess. Like kale has any flavor to it. And dump your kale into your stew. Stir it around. Even though kale, uh, raw kale is kind of, I don't know, I find it kind of abrasive to chew on. Uh, but it'll, it'll break down in this. And then once you throw the chicken in there and pressure cook this for 35 minutes or so, it'll uh, completely break this kale down and be a nice uh, texture and flavor to it. So after this is boiled a while and you've stirred it around, usually about five minutes, starts breaking down the kale. You can turn off your uh, Instapot and then Add in some boneless, skinless thigh portions. You can use breasts or white meat, but I prefer uh, the dark meat. Oh, that's what she said. Um, I, I just think it tastes better, has, has more flavor than uh, the, the white meat breast. And these are completely frozen, completely frozen. Just toss it in there. Try to push this down as much as you can. And this is from freezer to, uh, to, to uh, the table, basically. Put the top on it, seal it. I'm going to put this on meat and stew for 35 minutes. Hit start, and it'll uh, do its thing once it hits the right temperature. So if you subscribe to my channel, you know there's a little bit of everything. There's a little bit of RC aircraft, there's a little bit of computers and cybersecurity, uh, you know, how to do this, how to do that. And, uh, you know, when I was single, I used to cook for myself a lot and not just peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and mac and cheese, although I do miss that. But, uh, but when I got married a few years ago, my wife uh, is allergic to gluten, so she can't have wheat or anything with wheat or barley or whey in it, all that kind of went away. So this is completely gluten-free. I'm just kind of mixing it up since I'm in charge of making meals now, so, because my wife is working and I'm not. So she has uh, assigned me the house bitch duty. So, you know, just joking.
So I just decided to you know mix it up a little bit with this uh, how-to video of uh, cooking uh, you know the chickpea stew with you can add you can leave the chicken out or you can uh, uh, add it in. I, I add it in because it becomes a full meal. I may do a few more videos on this on, on different things I cook in Instapot. I'm not a chef by any means, uh, as you can tell by my slicing and dicing prowess. Or prowess, prow, 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 prow s. Yeah, there we go. Um, you know, I haven't cut off any fingers yet, so you know. So the Instapot is up to temperature and it's starting to count down. So now it is finished cooking after 35 minutes. We will bleed out the pressure. After it uh, depressurizes, carefully take off the lid. So it will be very hot. And the chicken thighs will just fall apart. You can shred these or you can serve it as is. So while this cools, I'll put the lid on it just to keep anything from falling into it. You can uh, ladle this into some uh, freezer containers. And then put it in the freezer. We'll see how many uh, how many lunches we get out of this. That little pot made 11 of these lunches. I'll give you a price breakdown of it as well as like the cost of the groceries that I had to spend. 